New York Tribune as a journal, removed delight from servile partisanship on the one hand, and from gagged and mimicking neutrality on the other. Journalism will kill you, but it will keep you alive while you're at it. Does he look great? He is the amazing 200-year-old man. And uh, here he is looking very dapper in his white top hat. A few weeks ago, he had a black cape on. He's become the best dressed statue in all of New York City. Now, old Matt Horace Greeley was a man of learning, as your history will tell you if you read it. And he'd rise to the occasion with a speed that was amazing when a word of good advice was ever needed. Yes, old man Horace Greeley, no, he'd never dally dealy when a word of good advice was ever needed. My life has been busy and anxious, but not joyless. Whether it shall be prolonged for few or more years, I am grateful that it has endured so long, that it has abounded in opportunities for good not wholly unimproved, and in experiences of the nobler as well as the baser impulses of human nature. I have been spared to see the end of giant wrongs, which I once deemed invincible in this century and to note the silent upspringing and growth of principles and influences which I hail as destined to root out some of the most flagrant and pervading evils that yet remain. I realize that each generation is destined to confront new and peculiar perils, to wrestle with temptations and seductions unknown to its predecessors. Yet, I trust that progress is a general law of our being and those of the bloody and distant past. So looking calmly, yet humbly, for that close of my moral career which cannot be far distant, I reverently thank God for the blessings vouchsafed me in the past, and within all that is not fear, and a consciousness of demerit that does not exclude hope awaits the opening before my steps of the gates of the eternal world. I thank you.